Hi all, in this video we will go through the features of Playwright tool and complete the installation. I am going to refer the official documentation for the same. Playwright enables reliable end-to-end -end testing for web applications. Here we can see that it supports Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Mozilla Firefox, Opera Mini and Safari. Any browser, any platform, one API. Cross browser. Playwright supports all modern rendering engines including Chromium, WebKit and Firefox. Cross platform, we can test on Windows, Linux, Mac OS, locally or on continuous integration in headless mode or headed mode. So headless mode is basically the execution will happen on the web application but it will not be visible. Cross language uses the Playwright API. In multiple languages such as TypeScript, JavaScript, Python, .NET and Java. So we will be referring Playwright with the TypeScript. Test mobile web. Native mobile emulation of Chrome and Android and mobile Safari. The same rendering engine works on desktop and in the cloud. A resilient and no flaky tests. Auto wait. So Playwright waits for elements to be actionable prior to performing actions. It also has a rich set of introspection events, combination of two eliminates the need for artificial timeouts. The primary cause of flaky tests. Web first assertions, playwright assertions are created specifically for the dynamic web. Checks are automatically retried until the necessary conditions are met. Tracing, configure test retry strategy, caption execution trace video screenshots to eliminate the flakes. No trade-offs and no limits. Browsers run web content belonging to different origins in different processes. Playwright is aligned with modern browser architecture and run test out of process. This makes Playwright free of typical in-process test runner limitations. Multiple everything. So test scenarios that span multiple tabs, origins and multiple users. Create scenarios with different contexts for different users and run them against your server all in one test. Trusted events like hovering of element, interact with dynamic control, produce trusted events. Playwright uses real browser input pipeline indistinguishable from the real user. Test frames, peers, shadow DOM. Playwright selector peers, shadow DOM and allow entering frame seamlessly. So handling the frames on a web page is com uh, comparatively easier. Full isolation and fast execution browser context. Playwright creates a browser context for each test. Browser context is equivalent to brand new profile browser profile. This delivers full test isolation and zero overhead. Creating a new browser context only makes a handful of milliseconds. Login once. Save the authentication state of context and reuse in all the tests. This bypasses the repetitive login operation in each test. Yet delivers full isolation of independent test. Powerful tooling. Code gen generates test by recording your actions. Save them into any language. Playwright inspector. Inspect the page. Generate selector. Step through the test execution. See click points. Explore execution logs. Trace viewer. Capture all the information to investigate the test play failure. Playwright trace. Contains test execution screencast, live DOM, snapshots, action explorer, test source and many more. So in the future videos we will go in depth, depth with all these uh, features. For now we are going to use TypeScript. Let's start with the installation. Installing Playwright. Get started by installing Playwright using npm or yar. So we will be using npm. For that purpose, first we need to install down, uh, download Node.js and it includes the npm. Now, npm is a node package manager for Node.js and Node.js is an open source cross-platform backend Java runtime environment that runs on a JavaScript engine and executes JavaScript code outside a web browser which was designed to build scalable network application and TypeScript is a well established in the Node.js world. So what we have to do, we have to choose the OS and install it and once the installation is complete, we will check in the command line.
node space hyphen v the version of node installed we can see that node version 16.15.1 is installed and after that npm space hyphen v so we can see the npm is also installed 8.11.0 now we will start with the installation now we have to run this command run the install command and select the following to get started copy the command I have created a folder called playwright open cmd here need to install the following package create playwright ok to proceed yes now here do you want to use typescript or javascript as in the here it is mean choose between typescript or javascript default is typescript name of your test folder default is tests or end to end if you already have test folder in your project add a github action workflow to easily run tests on continuous integration pipelines so i am going to choose typescript and click enter where to put your end to end test so it is in the tests folder i'll keep it as it is add a github actions workflow we'll go with true Now we can see that row to they have created a package dot json and return it to it. Get this message success created a playwright test project at the location. This is the location and all these files are generated. Playwright will download the browsers needed as well as create the following files playwright dot config dot ts. This is a TypeScript file package json JavaScript object notation. Package hyphen log JSON file. It will create a folder called tests, which will have a TypeScript file called example.spec. Also, it will create a folder called tests hyphen examples, which will also have a demo TypeScript. So now the first playwright.config is where you can add configuration for playwright, including modifying which browsers you would like to run playwright on. So let's open the file. This is the playwright.config.ts. We'll open with notepad for now i'm not going to use any id as of now in future we'll use so here we can see configure projects for major browsers so there is chromium firefox webkit some parts are uh, some parts are like commented here but as of now this should be true like run tests in parallel to retry in ci parallel tests on continuous integration pipeline so there are a lot of configuration stuff present here the second file if you are running tests inside an already existing project then dependencies will be added directly to package.json so this is package.json file so by default it opened in one of the editors so that should be fine so it contains a lot of key value pairs like name is playwright version script index so this is the package.json with lot of dependencies so currently only playwright tests is present here the tests folder contain a basic example test to help you getting started with the testing for a more detailed example check out the tests hyphen example folder which contains test written to test a to do app so let's check the tests folder it already has a typescript file and open this in the visual studio code so this contains home page has playwright in title so this is the basic example file that we are going to run now running the example test by default test will be run on all three browsers chromium firefox and webkit using three work workers this can be configured in the playwright config file tests are run in headless mode meaning no browser will open up while running the test result of the test and test log will be shown in the terminal so let's copy the command npx playwright test and we can also we are going to see the other stuff like running tests on headed mode running multiple tests specific tests etc
npx playwright test so it is saying running three tests using three workers so first is home page as playwright intro page this example is a so that execution is done three tests pass so this was because this was in the headless mode we were not able to see anything this is the entire thing running three tests using three workers three passed to open last html report run npx playwright show report so this should be showing us the latest report let's follow by developer documents once your test has finished running an html reporter will have been created which shows you a full report of your test allowing you to filter the reports by browser pass test fail test skip test and flaky test you can click on each test and explore the test reports as well as each step of the test by default the html report is opened automatically if some of the tests are failed so we'll use this command npx playwright show report this is the same command that is suggested now how do you want to open and use microsoft edge so three tests are executed one in chromium firefox webkit the contents of the test like how the typescript is written we'll see in the next videos but here we can see there are all these steps are present and how much time it took in seconds some in milliseconds before hook page go to playwright dev it is expecting to have a title attribute and ex expecting to have a url so very basic test so till now we just see that how the installation is done and how to run an example test so in the next video we will see how to write the test so thanks for watching this video.